Hi everyone, Joshua Hinlin here, and today I'm next to one of the iconic planes from the Second World War, a Douglas C-47. We actually had the rare opportunity to fly in this plane as part of the D-Day Ohio event in Conneaut, Ohio. This plane was used for uh, many different roles during the Second World War, but primarily it carried paratroopers on D-Day. And this plane is actually known as the Whiskey 7. It led the second wave of paratroopers over D-Day. It carried 21 troops from the 82nd Airborne, and its drop zone was a field near the very village of San Mariglis in France. Around 2 a.m. on D-Day, so this was still several hours before the beach landings took place on Normandy, the men of the 82nd jumped from Whiskey 7 at about 700 feet above ground level. After releasing the paratroopers, the uh, planes that were with Whiskey 7 uh, all dropped down to 100 feet above ground level to avoid enemy gunfire. And after D-Day, uh, Whiskey 7 would go on to participate in Operation Market Garden and Operation Varsity as well. It then went back to being a civilian aircraft after the war. Uh, but then it was bought by a museum organization, the National Warplane Museum in New York, and has actually been turned into a plane that gives uh, rides to people. It also, in 2014, went back to Normandy for the 70th anniversary of D-Day, and paratroopers once again jumped out in the same spots that they had jumped out 70 years earlier in 1944. So quite the history here on this plane, and the C-47s in general that were used widely throughout many different theaters of operation during the Second World War. It was a real privilege to be able to ride on this plane. Uh, it was $150, but that money also helps keep all these planes uh, running and keep this history alive. So even though it is a fairly expensive experience, it was well worth it. The experience lasted for about a half an hour and you're able to walk around inside the plane. You're able to see out the windows. We flew over the beach on uh, Lake Erie, where the D-Day reenactments happened during the D-Day Ohio event as well. Uh, the guides and everyone in the plane, the pilots and everyone were extremely nice and very willing to share information and to tell you about the, the history of the plane itself as well as its role during the Second World War. So, cannot recommend highly enough if you have the opportunity to ride in a plane like this or really any plane from the Second World War, uh, definitely take that opportunity and it's incredible that this was one of the planes that actually flew over Normandy on D-Day itself. So it's a, an amazing experience and we're very happy we were able to come out to Ohio and experience this today. Thanks so much for watching.